What's up everybody and welcome back. I had some people asking me for like a tutorial on how I build a Navy assembly, so that's what this is going to be. I also had somebody ask for an F-16, so we're going to do the tutorial with me building an F-16. Now step one of building any plane is you need to find a good photo of it, right? In this case it's the F-16. And you might want more than one photo so you can get multiple angles. I just like to Google search the plane and I can just scroll through and you get all sorts of different angles. So let's get started. Jump right into this now, eh? Now I don't actually like the cockpits because although they are some nice cockpits, none of them are gonna fit the, the F-16 at all. So I just kind of build my own cockpit, all right? So step one, you got to build the nose of the plane. At least that's my step one. Now this is a kind of rounded nose. So to get more of a rounded effect, you do multiple stages of taper down. Right? And then it, it almost looks rounded. Of course, it's not going to look perfectly rounded because this game doesn't let you quite do that. Now with the cockpit window, usually, mm, on this one, it's a little tricky because how the fuselage is, but you, you take it and you size it down so it's not the same size. And you slide it in there, right? Nope, wrong one get your highest point of the cockpit and then you you work your way from the highest point down in both directions and what helps when you're building the cockpit is if you paint it different colors you can see what you're working with better so like if I do this now obviously these colors aren't accurate but you can see the cockpit in more depth get it how you want it I guess there we go now we're looking good now on this on the f-16 it has a body that flattens out at the bottom so it goes from the wing the start of the wing tip which is gonna be right around there we're gonna put that there square this one off too And then it kind of merges in with it. Square this off. You just shrink. Oop, wrong button. And then Control Z to undo when you do the wrong thing. Boom, we have the fin sort of thing. Let's just finish the nose cone. Now, it's really hard to do rounded shapes in this game because it only has, you can only shape the, like, the front and the back, want two sides of it. You can't add to the middle of it. If they added a thing where you could add to the middle of it when it made, like, a curve, you could do more rounded nose sort of thing. But we just deal with what we have for now. Maybe we'll get that when they add it. Now how do we make it? You can do some fun stuff like, oh, nope. We can add that to there. Okay, you're gonna be not so fun. And then you have your nose. So now the nose is done on the F-16. Now we gotta build the wing. I take this. Oh, we could do that. Normally I don't do that. Here. Now we're gonna try mirror mode. A lot of the time mirror mode does not work when you're building your wings and you have to recopy your wings, so to speak, once you get your wings built. 
Now with this, we're gonna wanna rotate these like that. It's a really fine profile wing. Yep, see, there you go, it disappeared. And you just don't worry about that. You, you worry about that later. This has gotta widen out. It's gotta start widening out. And then we grab our wing that we're building, right? And we size it properly. Move it to where it needs to be. Probably gonna put it like right there actually. Oh, maybe we'll try right there. And then. The F-16 wing is very sleek. Like that. See, the wings just don't agree with me sometimes. Now that's the start of the wing and that's all we have so far. And then when we're building the rest of the wing, to make it the, the, the tail edge of the wing, you just put it onto the end, make it as wide as possible. That's probably too wide actually. You can adjust it for whatever you need, right? And then you, you move it in. And we just grab it, stretch it out. There we go. And then we're gonna move it forwards. To, uh, I believe it has missiles on the end. We're gonna move it back slightly. There's our for show missile. Okay, now multi or duplicating the wing, since it's not as easy as tapping, you have to find somewhere where it duplicates, right? Preferably some somewhere flat, right? There. Then you're gonna rotate it, hopefully in the right direction. Perfect. And without clicking off of it, you're gonna move it to the proper position, which is gonna be down more. forward more down slightly more hmm we're gonna run it above that and that's gonna be our wing that is how you make the wing not that's how you duplicate the wing when mirror mode is not cooperating I take it back. We're just gonna take that engine out of there completely. With the tail, I usually use tail wing. The tail wings, because they're just, tail wings are generic, usually. Hmm, you see what I missed, guys? You see what I missed? We're gonna deal with that in a second. The F-16 slopes downward. Probably even slopes downward from there. Let's be honest. Whatever I just did, we're undoing it. Because I see numbers pop up on the screen and it scared me. It also tapers inward. Ooh, I'm liking that much better now. We're starting over. I managed to have to start over anyways. I think we'll use that for the vertical. Sneak it in there like this. And turn mirror mode back on. Yep, 
Is that too big though? I run it slightly more down. You never know, maybe that's it. I, I mean, it, it looks slightly better. I'm missing a step like always. You have to put wings inside of your wings. Yes, wings inside of your wings. Real wings inside of your fake wings. So it actually flies. Now the landing gear, perfect. And now another thing we don't have are jets inside of it. So we need thrust. You need to add thrust inside of it. If you put this jet on the end, it has like an afterburner effect when you hit a certain amount of throttle. And then you're going to need gas. And when you put gas in, that's pretty much how you control your CG. Your center of gravity is going to be... That's how you're going to move it around. Like, I need it more forward. That's exactly where we want the CG. But we do need more gas. I usually like, like, 10 gas at minimum, okay? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Something looks off. It's like... It's really sleek, way too sleek. Mine doesn't have an engine scoop, so. That is why it doesn't look right. Because it's supposed to have an engine scoop right down the middle of the plane. There's more than just an engine scoop. There's like a whole frame to the bottom of this thing. And it's wide too. It's it's pretty wide. It's wider than that, obviously, guys. Now this is gonna be fun. Now you want your engine scoop to look right. Put a piece inside of it. Now we can move this slightly down. And boom, that's your engine scoop. And now we need to put front landing gear on there, right? Man, it actually looks like an F-16 now, guys. <laughs> oh, I feel horrible because I, I missed like half of the plane. And then I, and, and now the wheels are overloaded. Okay. Now, if you want your plane to actually look good and s keep the wheels without having to add more wheels... Well, no, without making it look like you added more wheels, I should say, because you're still going to have to add them. You have to put the wheels inside of the wheels. And this is really tedious. Just like that. Now let's see if that's enough wheels in the back. Just like that. Okay. Let's try it. putting it into this mode again. There's the F-16. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Let's fly it around just a little bit. See how good it flies. Our afterburner kicks in. Pull back. Gear up. You can turn off the afterburner just by throttling back a little bit. It's not the most maneuverable F-16 ever, but it moves. It's got quite a top speed, though. Nope. It's not super fast. You could make it faster by adding more engines, obviously, but you don't have to do that. Most most of my builds are just to look right, not necessarily fly right, although it is really cool when they do both. Let's go put it in for a little bit of a landing here. Just a little bit, you know. I think it looks I think it looks pretty good actually. I think it turned out pretty decent. Pretty decent, eh? There's the runway. Found the runway. Gear down. We're going to need some throttle to pull it around. Now, off the throttle. Put it in. Now, 
Now obviously the gear is too close in the back. That's because they don't have landing gear that does this number. And other than that, hope this was helpful. And let me know you want to see me build next time. Maybe I'll build it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Meow, it's a jet. It's a finer jet. Can we land it upside down is the real question, y'all. Nope, that was a tree.